As the deputy mayor of Illion, New York, Beth Neal isn't alone in her fears that new gun control laws could spell trouble for her community. I've had people calling me, I've had people knocking on my door that are upset, they're worried. Since its founding here in the 19th century, Remington Arms has become synonymous with Illion. Its massive plant dominates the village and provides about a thousand jobs. The plant also produces AR-15 Bushmaster rifles, like this one, which were used in both the Webster and Newtown shootings. It's now banned under New York's new gun laws, and President Obama is pushing to ban similar assault weapons nationally, although it's widely seen as unlikely to pass Congress. This whole valley is run by arms. Most of your stores and everybody here, restaurants, everything, everything is contingent on that plant. David Palmer grew up here, but as he picks his grandchildren up from Remington Elementary School, he says he's in favor of more gun control, even if it could hurt his hometown. Hey, they shouldn't be allowed. Assault rifles should be allowed in any of the stores here, because we worry about our kids and our grandkids, and uh, we want to see them grow up and have good lives. The company hasn't made any announcements about changing its operations in Illion and has not responded to requests to comment on this story. But the rumor here is that layoffs could be looming. In New York is not in a, in a climate economically where they should be hostile to any industry. Downstaters and uh, Albany, a lot of them didn't seem to care about the people's future in this area. And I, frankly, I don't believe that they care too much about anyone above Westchester County. But Remington isn't just alien. Remington is worldwide. State Senator James Seward represents the area and voted against the new gun control package. He fears New York is becoming a hostile place for Remington to do business. New York wants to go a different direction. Perhaps the company should. I, I don't mean to be an alarmist here, but uh, it's that thought process that, that any uh, gun manufacturer would have to go through uh, to, in terms of where they want to be uh, going forward. Over the years, big manufacturers have disappeared from the Mohawk Valley, but this time Beth Neal says her worries go beyond economic concerns. It's, it's not just employment, it is the history. It's a very long history. You don't see that everywhere today. Um, it's over 200 years of history here that in, in has to do with Remington. For Metro Focus, I'm Marie Cusick.